What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple of different pairs of board shorts and which ones that I think can take your surfing to the next level. So I did a ton of research so that you guys wouldn't have to. I'm going to talk a little bit about my own pairs of board shorts and a couple of reasons why I don't like them. Here's my top five right here. So I'll explain to you why they're my top five. I'll explain to you my top one and then I'll give you a couple keywords to look for when searching for a nice pair of board shorts. But first I want to show you some surf film. I'm going to try to take you through a couple of different areas of surf just based upon how I film them. If you're only here for the board short device, you can go ahead and hop to this timestamp and that'll take you straight there. So let's go ahead and dive right into the surf film.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hate when I look up videos and they don't really ever get to their point. So I'm going to try to keep this as straightforward as possible and just get right into it. So first I'm going to go over a couple reasons why I don't like the board shorts that I have. So this is the Brooklyn Cloth Volley and they claim that it's good for lounging around the pool or vacation and that's exactly what I'd use it for. This is actually comfortable up here, the waistband is, it's one piece. Um, but down here there's no stretch at all, which is not good for surfing and I would just never actually wear these while surfing. Next up we got an older version of the Hurley Phantoms, which surprisingly are not that good compared to their new ones, like not even close. The waistband is not like stretchy at all, it's not one continuous piece. This is not really that bulky, but it is a little bulky. The pockets in the back, which is super annoying, it's kind of stretchy down here, but really not that much at all. Next, we have these Hurley Wop shorts, which I actually wore a little bit while surfing, but the pockets are on the sides, as you can see, like normal shorts you would wear. The waistband is one continuous piece, but it's only tightened by these strings, which is kind of annoying, so it has that like wrinkled feeling. The pocket in the back is actually zipped, so it was nice that I could zip it closed, so I'd trust it with my key, but because the pocket's in the back, you'd be sitting on your wax or your key, and that's annoying. Next up, we have the suit that I wore for a while. These pair, this pair of board shorts right here um, is super bulky in the front, the strings and stuff. It has the Velcro, so the fly is very annoying. Uh, the waistband's not one piece. It is stretchy, though, which was super nice. Down here is pretty stretchy as well, so I did wear this one for a while until I bought the pair that I'm actually wearing right now, so I'll show you that later because it is my number one option. So let's go ahead and get to the internet because I don't own all these pairs of board shorts. I did a lot of research on the internet, so let's hop on right over there. All right, so hopping over in the internet first, we got this Billabong pair. I'm not gonna talk about these just because they are not a good option. They're only $20 and there's a reason why. Next, the O'Neill board shorts is coming in at $60. It is a decent option, but I couldn't find much about the waistband down in this description of the board shorts, but it does have some nice aspects to it. So if you want to look those up, you can, but I'm not gonna talk about them much. The waistband, I just could not figure enough about it. So I don't even want to really get into these. Next we have the Dekine board shorts, uh, the Storm board shorts. They look super comfortable. The waistband looks like one continuous piece. Um, they don't really list a ton in their specs or their details, so I couldn't figure a lot about it, but they look stretchy down here as well. And then the strings look pretty bulky. That does not look super comfortable for laying on your board. That's my only issue with these. Sending $85, I'm not sure if I would pay for them. It also does have the side pocket. So I do enjoy that, and that is an amazing aspect of a pair of board shorts, so that is the reason I'm putting it on my list. Next, we have the Plasm Plus Mod board shorts from Volcom. Now, I didn't look at these at first, but then I looked at them later, and I actually really enjoyed them. Coming in at $80, they um, look super comfortable. The waistband looks very nice. Has the side pocket, which is super nice, not in the back, which is nice to have. You can see it's heat bonded and welded, which is one of the keywords that I want you to look for when looking for a pair of board shorts. And this pair of board shorts honestly does have a lot to offer. If you like the brand Volcom, I would definitely try these out. The strings do look a little bulky, that's my only complaint, but other than that, it is a very solid pair of board shorts. Next, we have the Quicksilver Highline Division Blend. Now, this is the cheaper option, which is weird because it's sitting at $100, but it is a very nice pair of board shorts with all the keywords that I have to search for. It has all of them. It has the four-way stretch. It's made out of polyester, which is the only difference between it and its more expensive board shorts right here, the Highline New Wave Pro coming in, coming in at $200. So the main difference between this one and all the other pair of board shorts is that this one is made out of nylon, which real quick, the difference between nylon and polyester is just that nylon is smoother and has higher stretchability, it's a little bit lighter and a little bit stronger. Now, the advantages that polyester have are that it's faster drying and it resists that piling so it doesn't like fold over and that it holds your color longer. But the nylon is stretchier, which would make it a better option for surfing. So that's the only reason that one's a double the price of its um, partner over there. So another solid pair of board shorts, I would not pay the $200 for it, but it does look super comfortable so I would try them if they ever sent me a free pair moving on to rip curl this is one of my top two pairs of board shorts the mirage mcfanning react ultimate so this pair of board shorts looks very nice the waistband looks super comfortable 
The string's look a little bulky, so not sure how I feel about that, but they honestly, I can't really tell from the picture, so I don't wanna say that for sure. It just looks like a very comfortable pair of board shorts just from the pictures that they supply. It's coming in at only $70, which is one of the cheapest options we have. And just based on all the keywords that I search for, it has every single one of them. And so this is why it is my number two option. It is affordable and it just looks like it has all the things. It also has this Electro Stretch 5, which I'm not sure if that means it has five-way stretch. Every other pair only says four-way stretch. I tried to look into that, couldn't find a ton, but I'm assuming this is the only pair that also has five-way stretch. So that adds a little bit more to it. And now getting into the number one option, the Hurley Phantom Hyperlease. Now this is the pair that I'm actually wearing right now. This is the most comfortable pair of board shorts I've ever had in my life. Granted, this is the only expensive pair of board shorts I've ever bought, but it has the perfect side pocket. It zips tight just so you can trust your key or wax or whatever you're holding in there. The waistband is what sets these apart, in my opinion, from all the other ones. The waistband is super comfortable. It has that Nike Fly Knit Hyperfuse um, inside the waistband, and you can feel the strings moving around inside of it. And it just makes for the most mobility of any of these pairs of board shorts, and I would definitely recommend purchasing these if you enjoy the Hurley brand. So yeah, you can see the hyperweaves right here. This is the pair of board shorts that I wear every single time that I go surfing. I don't want to say that there's one pair that's better than all the rest, but from my own opinion, I have used these for over a year now, and I can honestly say I do think I surf better in these than I do any other pair. That's why I only wear them. But like I said, I have some keywords that you can look for when looking for a pair of board shorts if you don't want to buy one of the ones that I'm going to put in the links below. Those four keywords being that it has a four-way stretch, meaning you're going to have the most mobility possible. All the patches, pockets, and everything are welded, laser cut, or heat bonded, meaning that it's as flat as can be so it won't be bulging out and annoying you when you're laying down. The waistband being continuous fabric, that's huge because when it's not one piece, that's when it starts to fold and it just doesn't fit around your body to the best of its ability. And then personally, I love having the side pocket just because you can keep the key or your wax on your side. It won't hit your stomach when you're paddling or you won't have to sit on it. So those are my four keywords. I would definitely look for those when trying to buy a pair of board shorts. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I enjoyed making it. I had to do a lot of research. I learned a lot. I would love to do more videos like this, but it takes a lot of time. So I'd like to know what you guys would want to know. So if there's more you would want me to research, comment below. I'll do all the research. I'll post a video of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really do appreciate you so much. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.